guys, welcome back to the Project Blue Ball podcast. My name is Gokul Narayan. I'm going to be doing the review series for uh, the last two days. So September 10th and today September 11th. So uh, Thursday, September 10th, there was only one game and that was the Rockets versus the Lakers. The Lakers took the 3-1 series lead with a 110-100 win. Anthony Davis scored 29, LeBron with 16. Uh, Danny Green and Kentavis Cowell both 10 apiece. For the Rockets, James Harden with 21, uh, Russell Westbrook 25, and Eric Gordon 19. Um, so, a little bit about the series. I think Russell Westbrook has honestly been hurting the Rockets. Uh, this game, he made 11 points and he shot the ball really good. James Harden, 2 of 12. Most of his points are on the free throw line, 16 points are there. So, this game may be an exception, but uh, I, feel, I feel that without him they're better as a team and early on from the season we knew that because a team can't last with two ball dominant uh, guards so it's just something that I feel that they are but uh, I think that uh, they're doing the best they can but I think that uh, the Lakers are gonna take the series in game five and uh, move on but yeah, good game from Westbrook here compared to his last games. James Harden, I don't know what to say for that 16 points out of 21. Like, if you get 16 points from the free throw line, that's kind of useless to your team. Like, okay, 16 points from there plus, like, shooting wall is, like, deadly. But, like, just scoring from the free throw line won't do any good. So, that's just my thoughts on that. He's a great scorer, and he's really good at drawing fouls, but just didn't show in this game. LeBron only 16 points. He didn't really need to score that many. Well, Davis carried over a little bit, but uh, LeBron with nine assists, 15 rebounds, so he did well. Otherwise, and defensively with three steals. So yeah, uh, that's all I got to say about that series. Um, I, I felt from the beginning the Lakers would take it in like four to five, maybe not four, but yeah, five. But <clears throat> I feel that the small ball just wouldn't work that well against Anthony Davis because. He's, uh, he's a dominant power forward. He can score, and you need someone to guard him. So, so I felt small ball wouldn't work for that. Uh, and then today, Friday, September 11th, there were two games. <clears throat> um, the Clippers versus the Nuggets. Uh, Nuggets got the win 111 to 105. Now coming back from the series 3 to 2. I thought the Lakers or Clippers sorry, would end the series today, but uh, Nuggets proved me wrong and everyone else too. Nikola Jokic 22, Jamal Murray 26. Jamal Murray did not shoot well, 9 for 25, but Nikola Jokic carried it over a little. And all the starters did well, actually. Gary Harris he didn't score too many, but uh, all the starters did pretty good. But for the Clippers, I feel that it was just uh, the stars. I mean, the stars played great too. It's like hard to say because this is a really close game, and Paul George coming back 8 for 18 shooting. Kawhi Leonard, 36 points. So I think the Nuggets just had that edge. They're trying to make a final push, which uh, which got them the game. But I don't see them winning anymore. I think that the Clippers will end it in six. But this is a nice uh, performance by the Nuggets, showing that they're not giving up and they're still in it. And that's something we all should know. They're not. They're really determined. And yeah, it's just pretty impressive. Uh, and then the final game, which is Celtics vs. Raptors, Celtics vs. Raptors, Game Seven. This one I have a lot to talk about. Obviously, after the first two games and towards the end of the third, we didn't see this coming to a uh, seven-game series. But as I said in that review series, OG shot really changed the whole outcome, uh, bringing to a seven-game series, and they almost won that too. Kyle Lowry didn't play that well today, but towards the end he did, but unfortunately got fouled out. Serge Ibaka carrying over a little in the shooting. And I think that the Raptors, uh, from what we all thought, they proved us wrong, definitely. We thought with Kawhi, making the playoff itself would be a struggle. But look at them, second seed, almost made it to the conference finals, but Jason Tatum and Cole were just too deadly. Tatum, uh, he didn't shoot that well tonight, but 30 points almost, and a couple of clutch uh, free throws towards the end. Uh, Robert Williams also a really good defensively towards the end, blocking uh, Fred Van Leek's shot. That was nice. Uh, Daniel Thais is uh, kind of the hero for this some of the games of the series. 
Um, he didn't play too much tonight. They put in Robert Williams towards the end. So yeah, uh, great series though. Uh, the the most interesting for this round. But uh, yeah, to be honest, in the start of the series, I forgot who I had, or I forgot how many games I thought, but I definitely did not see it coming to seven, and that was just impressive for me. But I think that now the Celtics and the Heat series is the next like uh, thing that's going to be pretty hard to predict because both teams are they have some strong points. The Heat are really good uh, offensively and defensively. Celtics exceptionally good in defensive. Two great coaches, Eric Spolstra and Brad Stevens. So that's definitely going to be interesting series. My personal prediction though is the Heat in seven. But again, like this series, everything's is un going to be unpredictable also in my opinion uh but that's definitely one series that i'm really looking forward to so yeah uh that's going to do for today's episode only three games uh like the video subscribe to the channel and see you guys